students welcome to my channel study of philosophy in this video i'll explain chapter 3 of unit 2 of ss second year logic and philosophy that is observation and experiment this video i'll be discussing about the kinds of observation simple observation experiment advantages of observation over experiment advantages of experiment over observation and relation between observation and experiment so let's get started so what is observation observation it is a regulated perception there are two kinds of observation one is simple observation and the other is experiment what is simple observation simple observation is regulated perception of natural events under natural circumstances for example observation of drops of water when it rains under natural course is a simple observation if we analyze this definition of simple observation then we find certain characteristics of it number 1 simple observation is a regulated perception with a definite purpose in view as simple observation it is a kind of observation therefore in this kind of observation also we must have a definite purpose in view secondly simple observation is a perception of natural events in this kind of observation we observe things we observe the natural events thirdly simple observation is a perception of events under natural conditions that means in this kind of observation we observe the natural events under natural conditions and the last one is that that those natural events are out of control of the observer then what is experiment experiment is the regulated perception of events artificially reproduced under artificial arrangement that is in laboratory for example observation of drops of water artificially produce by combining hydrogen and oxygen in laboratory is a kind of experiment so what are the characteristics of experiment number 1 experiment is a regulated perception with a definite purpose in view as it is a kind of observation secondly experiment it is a perception of artificial event that that means that in case of experiment we have to produce the event thirdly experiment is a perception of that artificial events under artificial arrangement in case of laboratory that is known as the experiment and the last one is that experimental events are always under the control of the investigator as the investigator himself artificially reproduced that event so there are certain advantages and disadvantages also 
uh, of experiment and simple observation first i'll discuss about the advantages of simple observation over experiment number 1 the scope of simple observation is wider than in experiment as it can be applied universally as simple observation is done under natural arrangement therefore the scope of simple observation is always wider than in experiment secondly in simple observation we can proceed from a cause to the effect as well as from an effect to a cause but in case of experiment we can proceed only from cause to its effect thirdly observation precedes experiment that means that we have to first observe then we can proceed to experiment then the advantages of experiment over, over simple observation experiment can be repeated and for this it enables us to multiply as many instances as we need as experiment is done artificially or we have to reproduce it therefore it is possible for us to repeatedly experiment our product secondly experiment helps us to isolate a particular thing experiment is done in is in artificial arrangement therefore it is possible for us to isolate the different parts of a product thirdly experiment enables us to vary the circumstances in the indefinitely and the last one is that experiment enables us to study a thing in a calm and quiet manner so what is the relation between simple observation and experiment simple observation and experiment are the two forms of observation in general so in both cases the general characters of observation in general are present thus they are similar in some respect number 1 in simple observation and experiment perception is directed with a definite purpose in view in both cases our purpose is to find out the real cause of the phenomenon under investigation secondly both are necessarily selective and thirdly in both cases we regulate our scattered minds towards those selected instances only and perceive them attentively and carefully now the differences simple observation is regulated perception of natural events while experiment is regulated perception of artificially produced reproduced events in simple observation the conditions under which the events occur are presented by nature while in experiment the conditions under which events are produced are pre-arranged by ourselves simple observation is natural while experiment is artificial so what is observation and experiment different logicians have define the relationship between observation and experiment differently according to bain 
observation is finding a fact and experiment is making one according to stock and other logicians observation is passive experience whereas experiment is active experience so what is the real relationship between simple observation and experiment there is no real difference between simple observation and experiment because in both cases we collect materials and try to establish a materially true general proposition and in doing so in both cases we rely on our natural power of sense organs and study natural phenomena in both cases we make use of our physical and mental energy so they are not different in kind the fact is that observation is more natural than experiment and experiment is more artificial than observation in experiment we are more active than in observation and in observation we are more passive than in experiment the difference between them is thus the difference of degree only hence one of the logician zevons has rightly remarked that observation and experiment do not differ in kind but only in degree that's all for today students if you have any queries regarding the topic discussed please leave a comment in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever i upload a new video thank you